Breaking news. Southern states will divorce Northern if we don't produce the next president. Southern governors declares. Hello, my wonderful people. It's happening. Southern governors are putting down their feet because since the last result of their meeting, after the meeting, the Northerners have been extraying everything they said in that said meeting. Oh, yes. They've been extraying it left, right, and center. And I've been looking at it and I've been speaking and saying the Southern governors have no right to, to request for president. That they will retain the president. They will produce the next president. And Southerners are saying, we have a system where we rotate this thing. How come you are saying it's going to you say, you know what, you, we have the monopoly of votes. We have 19 states, you have, you have uh, 17 states. So we don't know how you are going. We have, the, we have the numbers. Can you imagine? Southerners are putting their feet down, say, you know what, if, if and if 2023, yeah, we don't produce the next president, consider Nigeria divided. You know, already Buhari has already gone on and um, he's already dealing with Tunande Kano, who he has put in prison. Uh, not prison, yes, he's still with DSS. And also, we also have uh, Sunday who have been declared wanted. So a lot is going on. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Let's get to all the details. Breaking news, Southern states will divorce Northern Nigeria if we don't produce the next president. A do deputy governor declares. His Excellency Comrade Philip Shwaibo, deputy governor of Edo State, has revealed that the 17 southern states are ready to divorce northern Nigeria, part of the country, to become another country if they are requested to allow the south to produce the next president of Nigeria in 2023 is not zoned to the south. There is no need to hide it. I am putting out the information so that they can hear and know. We are ready to divorce and to let this go and go forever. We will have the south, we will divorce the country. We will have the southern part of the country and the northern part of the country. Shwaibo appealed to northern elites to graciously accept the south request lest they will miss out. We the southerners, I must tell you, are ready to move ahead. It's no longer news. We are making every preparation to divide the country if the, if the North refuse this. He further explained that the only thing the North has to offer Nigeria is their unproductive production, which they use to intimidate the South, while the resources of the country are domic um, domiciliary being repatriated to the North. So... If we divide the country today, the North will lose big time. They should go with their population while we go with all the resources. We know what they are up to, using the National Assembly to comb wealth of the nation. We are watching them. We will ask our people in the armed forces to return home and leave the desert for them. The Middle Belt people can join us if they wish to. We know they will join us. Even if they don't join, we are well more than able. They have good agricultural land. They can supply us with enough food for the new country. The deputy governor appealed to the north to stand up for what is right or they will lose it all. If he asked and said, we are not afraid to go on and to be persecuted by the Buhari regime, no one can arrest me as a sitting deputy governor. I have immunity. I have, the, I have been in the struggle of freedom my entire life. Don't think it is what you are doing to Nandi Kanu or Sunday Igboho. <laughs> no wonder the North said that the Southerners are ready, that they are coming through Sunday Igboho and Nandi Kanu. Yeah, that was what they said. That was what the North said. They said the Southern governors are coming again with Sunday Igboho, that they are all of the same mindset. They are already acting like Sunday Igboho and the rest of them. That was what they said. But guess what? It's no longer a secret. The South is ready to break away from Nigeria. Watch it all. I don't know how Nigeria is going to break, whether by hook or by crook. If something is not done immediately, hmm, the thing that will happen will not be what you know anybody believed. It's just going to happen. It's going to be so fast, beyond you can ever imagine, ask, or think. 
you know, for the deputy governor to be speaking in this light, let me tell you, so many things have gone be oh, so many waters is already going down the bridge. And whether you like it or not, apart from the known meeting that they do in Lagos or in, uh, in Nasaba, there is also the, what we call the closed door meeting that nobody will be aware of. They all might just gather, for instance, in Edo State, in Cross River State, and they will have this meeting secretly. By the morning, everybody enters their plane and go back home. Where did you go to all mouth sealed? Just like the federal government's mouth is sealed towards uh, how, where they got Unandikano from. Although it's a non-public uh, secret that Unandikano was repatriated all the way from Kenya, however, we'll get to know exactly what is going on as the matter unfolds. Whether you like it or not, those things are happening. And it is happening now. <laughs> you don't understand it. The South is ready to disassociate. So, whether you like it or not, there is something going on. Whether you like it or not, there is something going on. And um, in case you're aware, <laughs> it's no longer a secret. The South is ready to pull out. Mm -hmm. The South is ready to divide Nigeria. They think it's in Andy Kano that they've incarcerated or is. Um, it's in Andikano or is, uh, you know, uh, uh, Sunday Boho, they've declared wanted, even killed people. You heard the governor, deputy governor speaking, saying, listen, guys, nobody can arrest me. And I'm saying it, that the South is going to break away from the North. And at the end of the day, the North will suffer. They should go with their population. Guess what? All the insecurity in the, in the, in the South will end automatically. Because the North is the one infiltrating into the South, Kotsi, Muhammad Buhari says, leave them, let them come in. So these are part of the problem ongoing. This is the issue ongoing. The South is ready to break away. Uh, the, the, the drums have just started. The drums of war have just started rolling already. So are we going to sit back and allow these things to happen? Northern governors and whoever you are, the ball is in your court, like they will say. Play it, roll it in whatever way you want to roll it. The ball is in your court. Don't forget, the South is ready to break away like yesterday. What will it be? Will you rather stick, fight for peace or you will want to break away? The ball is in your court. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.